Betrayal. One of the most insidious forms of evil. How do you handle it? What do you do when you have been betrayed? It has happened to me, and it may have happened to you. The question is, was it betrayal? Or did you actually miss signs along the way that for whatever reason, maybe it was inconvenient at the time to deal with? Maybe you thought, oh, it's just a thought. That's not possible. But on tonight, here on Pathway to Freedom, I want to share with you three points that will challenge you in regards to betrayal and signs you may have missed. Let's get started. Betrayal, yeah. Man, I'm telling you, that can be a beast and it can happen to any one of us. But let me give you three pointers in regards to betrayal. Value system. Some people are reared in atmosphere, community, family, where they are very selfish. Everything is to me. And they don't have the possibilities or the capabilities of thinking of anyone else but themselves. They're very selfish in how they think, they're very selfish in their perception of life and everything is to me. When you are around this type of personality, it is possible that you can experience betrayal because the person is not sensitive enough to recognize that their actions are causing you pain. That's number one. Number two, ulterior motives and hidden agendas. Now this is a very interesting one because ulterior motives and hidden agendas can be masked for a very long time. So you have to pay attention. Pay attention to signs, red flags, little sayings in their conversations. And most times when it happens, if you're not careful, you'll ignore the signs and call it something else. You will ignore the action and call it something else. Because you have a different perspective, a different heart. But the person that you're dealing with, whether it be your confidant, family member, partner, husband, wife, whomever has an ulterior motive and a hidden agenda for being around you and it's not about you it's about them and if you're not careful you can find yourself in the abyss of betrayal and then the last one which I think is very important one that cannot accommodate change change is a part of life change happens at every season. Whether you're talking about summer, winter, spring, fall, there's change. There's change in our life as we get older. But there are some people that cannot handle change and will insist that you and everyone in their atmosphere remain the same. And the moment that you decide, I'm going to grow, I'm going to change, I'm gonna become my best self. If not, if, if not careful, you can find yourself on the betrayal end. It's very possible it can happen to any one of us. I have friends in my life that have been there for a long time, 35, 40 years. And one of the reasons why we have remained friends is because we could accommodate change. Change in maturity, change in life perspective, change in conversation, change when we got married, 
change when we were going through losing a parent or a friend or associate we accommodated each other's change and we did not betray each other's trust i'm dr james taylor here with another pathway to freedom giving you just three pointers values also ulterior motives hidden agendas and can you accommodate change these three are necessary and needed when you're trying to discern whether or not you are around a betrayer i'll see you next time i'm dr james taylor here with another pathway to freedom